Give her a big round of applause. Jesus at a young age, well, it didn't really mean nothing. And when I got to teenage, I like um, in and out of prison, drugs, all that sort of stuff. Um, then when I was about 28, I met my wife, and I've been with her for like 10 years. But I think the only good thing that came out of it were my three children. Um, but that's all gone wrong. Um, so I'm not with my wife now. Um, so that's why I ended up at the Agape Project. I was homeless on the street. I only spent three nights on the street really, but because I was lucky that I had a good friend, but we were drinking too much, so like drinking vodka every night, bottles of vodka and stuff. So something drew me back to church on the way and um, a gappy house and I feel now that my way it never gets me very far so I want to get baptised and try and in my life well I don't want to end my life over to Jesus um, I don't read my Bible as much as I should I don't pray as much as I should but still I know he's the son so that's what I want to do. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what the Lord's going to do is really exciting, and I want you to give a, a warm welcome to Terry. <laughs>
just sitting there like, for years and years. And I bumped into this man in Huddersfield, good 15 years, 16 years ago. And I saw this brightness about him, I saw this thing in his hand. And he says, Tan, he says, I've got to know God. And I went, sobbing and bad, I've got to know God. There's <laughs> <laughs> hope for me. You know, we go back far away. And I walked away from him. And never saw him again. I carried on continuously. The devil was really working hard with me day in, day out, constantly. I've done some horrendous things. But since I was serving Pastor Jim last week, I know I've been forgiven of them. That seems to be much to me. And I was in some senior scouts at a really low end. And everybody will laugh about this. Pastor Jim did, David did, some did. It was um, the other one that said to me, Square, and there was a big bright line. And I saw all these other lights around, I'm walking through St. Tavis Square, and I'm in a really dark place, I'm in turmoil with my life and everything. It's just this bright line, I'm thinking, what's going on there? And lo and behold, I walk underneath this one, and who's stood there? This man. <laughs> <laughs> well, for thousands of people, St. Tavis Square, this man. The Lord has shown this man to me in my life, knowing that at that point in my life, I needed to change my life. And Moira was with him and we stood up and chatted, didn't we? And he said, Terry, don't go away, don't leave me. I said, I've got to go. And you were worried, weren't you? That I wasn't going to be in touch. <coughs> Texting him daily. Told him we'd go to church. Because I saw this twinkle again and then my life needed changing. And I wanted to serve the Lord. I'd been serving the devil for 30 odd years. Now it was time to be a soldier for God. Mm. I spoke to Solomon at the MC pastor on the Thursday. Pastor Jim served me on Thursday, the 29th of March. The best day of my life. Mm. I walked out of the, our pastor's office in that car park and I'd been walking around with a lead suit on. But I, I floated out of the <laughs> <laughs> It was truly amazing. said to me, God forgives you if you want God to forgive your sins and you confess your sins to them. I said, Pastor, I said, I've done some horrendous stuff. He said, we all have. He said, but God forgives sins if you accept Christ in your life. And that's what it's at night. And I want to get baptised because I want to be a soldier for the Lord. This used to be my armour, but This used to be my armor when I was a criminal, when I was a bad man. That's my shield. That's my shield.